Welcome back, my people. I'm going to just jump into the preseason game against the Bills. I know I'm kind of late. I like to give myself a little bit of time just to really, really kind of hear what the streets are saying, uh, see what the people, the fans, everybody else is saying. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and give y'all what I thought from what I've seen in the game. First and foremost, if you watched it, we played a lot better in the run, which is good, man. We needed to see that. And I think they focused so hard on the on the on the run game that it ended up, you know, kind of we kind of end up suffering, end up taking the L. But it's just a preseason game. I'm cool. I don't want to go undefeated in the preseason again and then go super defeated in the regular season. So that really don't concern me. Um, other things that I like about the game. It was a quite. It was just a few. It was more so like the running game, man. I was happy to see out of Carlos High, uh, what I seen out of Carlos High. I was happy to see what what we got out of Duke. I was very pleased to see, you know, what we got out of Nick Chubb. Obviously, Baker went in there. He did his thing. And um, speaking on Baker, man, I've been I have been watching a little bit of uh, uh, Undisputed, I think, or the Uninterrupted. One of them two uh, with Skip and Shannon. And, like, Skip need to fucking calm down, man. Like, usually I'm with Skip because he has some valid points. And he do got valid points. But come on, man. We not about to protest Hugh Jackson because he want to start Tyrod over Baker. Like, we, we not in a hurry to see Baker. Like, I know I'm not in a hurry to see Baker like that. Like, we seen what that shit does when we had Johnny. And now I know Johnny and Baker are two different people, two different skill sets, two different mentalities. But, no, nah, man, we can't. No, why, why not let them develop and see the game from a coach perspective and then go out there and play the game on as a player, you know, with the coach mentality where you can really just control the game. He already kind of got that cerebro feel, but just let him learn the schemes, man. There's there's so many different disguises, so many different schemes that you got to know. Nah, man, we not about to throw him out there like that just because y'all you want to see him play and you want to see us fail. Like Tyrod, whatever his name is, Ty gives us the best chance to um, – basically you know win some games and and to also preserve baker for the next year man like i'm not protesting hugh i i don't hate Hugh. i don't think he's on a hot seat personally i don't think he should be on a hot seat personally i mean come on y'all like we all seen this show we all seen it man like you name me another franchise that had a revamp relaunch a franchise three times like the first franchise goes to Cincy okay then we start another one we had a beast ass franchise and then the fucking owner takes him to Baltimore and then we start again in 1999 now yeah it's almost been 20 years but then again like I keep saying man like name another franchise that had a relaunch three times you know what I'm saying? Of course you're going to have your downfalls, man. Of course you ain't going to have your identity. Your shit's been given away fucking two times already. Now you're trying it for the third. So I think people just need to relax. I understand that it's a short season. It's only 16 games. And, you know, every game count, every, every snap count, like everything counts. But... Like, no, nah, man, everybody just needs to be patient, man. Hugh cannot be on the hot seat for this season, man. He definitely needs a five-year plan, a five-year contingency plan. Today we're going to see another episode of Hard Knocks. So we'll see what that's about, and I'm sure I'll comment on that before the next preseason game. Uh, we play the Super Bowl champions, the defending champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. <sighs> um, all right. 
fuck it. <laughs> they, I'm, I want to play them, man, because fuck the Eagles, man. How they going to try to take our, like, dog shit? You know, oh, we the underdogs and we're in the dog mask and all this shit. Like, man, fuck the Eagles. All right, first and foremost, fuck the Eagles, period, dot, blank. Y'all can't have our shit. We the dog pound. We started that shit. It was all gravy when they had the little fucking golden retriever mask. All right, y'all can have a golden retriever mask. That's cool. As long as y'all ain't trying to. But when I seen the fucking bulldog mask, that's when I had to pull the plugs on. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. They didn't took it too far. You can have your little golden retriever mask. But once you start putting on masks where you looking like the dog pound, hey, that's our shit. Y'all some fucking eagles. Why don't y'all fly the fuck away? Period. Y'all can't have this dog shit. So, for real, for real, even though it's a meaningless game, I hope they fuck them up, man. For real. I hope Kendra's get in there. I hope he wreck shit. Fuck a Carson Wentz. Everybody keep talking about the Browns. They skipped on Carson Wentz. We don't give a fuck about no Carson Wentz. Get the f- That dude, what? Came from North Dakota State. Like, come on, man. Oh, because the motherfucker had one great year. We see how that shit play out. Remember Andrew Luck? Where he at? Hmm? Time's ticking. Come on, man. People be like trying to shit on my squad, man. They be trying. I'm tired of this shit, yo. I'm tired of everybody keep talking shit about how we drafted, about who we passed on. The only person I'm really mad about that we passed on that them years was fucking Julio Jones. Julio Jones is a beast. And I think we passed on AJ Green. I don't remember. Julio Jones for sure. That's the motherfucker we should have. But, you know, he flourished in Alabama. And you know what? I don't think he would have did good in the cold weather coming from Georgia, going to Alabama, going back to Georgia. I can't, I think he was originally from Georgia. I, I don't remember. But that's the only cat I can feel like like we really let one slip. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure everybody else could like kind of bring up other people. But I'm talking about like a game franchise changer. Like I feel like Julio could go anywhere and instantly make your offense better. You know what I'm saying? So that's who I'm kind of upset about. But fucking Carson Wentz, man, no. Mm-mm. You didn't even win it. I was so happy this motherfucker ain't play no playoff, ain't play no Super Bowl, because he was starting to get big-headed to me. And I remember it started from, from the time I heard it was a report, a little article, I guess, where they was talking about drafting him, and then it was saying things like, well, I hope I don't go to the Browns and shit, man. That's why I'm so happy we got Baker, man. I'm glad we didn't get Darnold's bum ass. I'm glad we didn't get Rosen's fucking snooty, bougie ass. Man, we didn't get fucking um, Josh Allen dumb ass wanting to use the N-word and shit. Like, who the fuck you think you is, dog? I don't give a damn. Motherfucker, like, you from Wyoming. I understand there ain't no blacks around there, so y'all probably can scream that shit off the top of y'all lungs and ain't got to worry about no repercussions. But, dog, come on, man. Come on, man. So, yeah, man. Um, I ain't really got too much to say because, like I said, like, these are all preseason games. I want to – and it's really hard to really dissect things, you know, all the way and completely uh, just because, you know, like, these is just like, you know, we just trying it out. All right. That one worked. That one didn't work. This one needs improvement. That type of thing. But other than that, man, another Hard Knocks episode. I'll holla at you, boy. Yeah, Dog Pound. Real Brown fans, check it out.